Hello game development freaks, it is time to continue with our video game. Right now when we play and I shoot the cannon it just disappears. There's nothing really spectacular to it. Of course we want to uh, burn that joker to the ground, that's how we want to see it. So what we have now is not going to be good enough. So what do we need to do? We already know uh, mm. where the explosions needs to happen right here right at the uh, point of impact also what we want to do is uh, create an explosion prefab to spark at that point now if you have the standard assets folder inside of your um, project which you should because it comes with unity and usually when you make a new project you it's by default checked to include the standard assets there's also the pro standard assets in case you're running the pro version, which I am, but in case you want to follow along, I'm only using features that everybody can use. So in the standard assets, there should be a couple of prefab called explosion. So if I use my search, you can see we have explosion right here. So this is a nice prefab that we can use. Now back to our code, we need to actually look for the collision part here which is our turret collision script now if I open that up I can define a variable up top var explosion which would be of the type transform because that's our prefab that we will use and then right when our turret gets hit by the worm projectile um, after we destroy the actual projectile we need to instantiate the uh, explosion so var exp equals instantiate and as you remember from previous tutorials this one takes three functions the first is basically what prefab it is and we have defined this one up top so let's copy that over then we need the position which is the position of this current turret so that's game object without a capital G dot transform dot position and then last but not least we need the rotation so that's the same rotation as the turret so quaternion dot identity as we've done this before okay now of course this variable does not really link at the right prefab yet so let's just save this script then go into our canon and select the cannon head which has the turret collision applied and now we can see our explosion variable exposed here in the editor now let's use our search to find that explosion once again drag it on top of there and now when we play our game and shoot that joker we see some flames now really nice because the cone that it leaves behind keeps burning on forever so that's pretty cool you can of course change the smoke as you like it if you want it to be less black or a little bit more. Uh, this one looks kind of chunky to me, to be quite honest. Probably from the other side a little better, as you can see. So uh, you can tweak about the uh, particles as you feel fit because we've covered particles in part 23 and 24. So now what you can do is basically we have modified the cannon so much that it has lost the connection with the prefab so let me just open the prefabs here and delete this cannon and then make a new prefab by going to assets create prefab call this one cannon and then drag this whole cannon chunk in there to set our prefab so now if you want to go crazy and design your level a little bit better by adding multiple turrets you can do so by just dragging in the cannon prefab. Let me see if this looks good from here. It's floating a little bit. That should be way better. So now when we shoot these cannons, they should all burn. Now of course this cannon does not really notice us because we have not set its um, target. You have to do that of course. So if I go in to the cannon head it will show the look at target right here which has to be a worm character so let me see where is our worm head right here so that will be our look at target 
So now that one shoot shoot at us as well, which would make the game just a little harder. Now all we need to do basically to finish some gameplay in this game is to make a script that counts all the turrets in the environment and then if you have all of them destroyed you go on to the next level basically and we need uh, a little main menu or something if you followed our first person shooter tutorial for VTC then you know how to make a main menu already It's pretty exciting stuff so I hope you like this uh, explosion stuff uh, as much as I do of course we should add some sounds and some camera shakers as well you know uh, just go crazy feel to do whatever you feel should be in there alright and I will see you next week